Imagine yourself at home as a child and it's late at night. You're in the, under the covers, flashlight in hand, and you're immersed in your favorite book. But consider what might be on the other side of the covers. The lights are out because nobody paid the electric bill this month or last. And you're all alone because your mother is working the late night shift at the local grocery store. And you're home alone. This was a reality for many students at Texas A&M raised in, in poverty as, uh, and who are now graduate students. And we know the rhetoric about students raised in poverty, that they don't make it and they fall through the cracks. But some of those students are making it, and I wanted to understand how. So I talked to graduate students raised in poverty from different backgrounds, and I asked them what were their home environmental factors that provided support or success for them for their future. What I found was that students in poverty view uh, academics as an escape. They see it as an escape from their day-to-day -day lives, as well as a way to escape the cycle of poverty. I also identified two success factors that helped them. First of all, I found that they had a really broad support system in place, inside and outside of the home. Inside of the home, their mothers were the ones that were very supportive of their academic endeavors. But even outside of their home, they had teachers and neighbors and counselors uh, that really valued their education and talked to them about what it was like to be beyond poverty, to actually break that cycle. They all, I also learned that they had structure in place at the home. Even though their parents may not have been able to help them, they provided them with activities and routines at home, like finishing their homework daily and reading to their siblings. So beyond these success stories of, of these students in, pro, in graduate school, what was important to realize is that educators and family members have an ability to help their child even if they are in poverty by one, helping them in providing educational opportunities and activities at home and by giving them the opportunity to speak to other people about their future outside of poverty and therefore broadening their support system even more. Now reimagine yourself as that child in poverty under the covers reading, but now on the other side of the covers, there's this big support system ready for you and waiting to help you throughout your career. Now, those who are not raised in poverty tend to have that support system in place, but there's no reason why it shouldn't be the same for those who are raised in poverty. Thank you.